Okay, we're uh, live here at a special Wednesday edition of the Trash Mouth Fantasy Football Podcast. We actually have the defending Trash Mouth Fantasy Football champion, Chet's Psychos. Good morning, all you suckers. Well, Psychos, once again, you're finding ways to win with your lineup. Julio Jones, the Eagles defense... Freeman, Ray Rice scoring against the vaunted Steeler defense, pulling out a victory against the best team in Trash Mouth, the Bengali Bombers? Well, like I said, I'll just make one thing clear. My team is playmakers make plays. That's why I'm so good. I, I must admit, you know, that roster move, some people were questioning it. Julio Jones, a rookie, but... He came back from the injury. He got you two big touchdowns and a block against Matt Ryan. You couldn't ask or draw that up any better than that in a perfect spot. And I bet you my opponent was probably pissed off about it. Oh, I'm sure he was. The Bengali Bombers, you put him on a two-game losing streak. All right, so uh, in the beginning of the season, you were very confident about your three-headed monster, but lately it's looking like it's turning into a one-headed monster. What's going on with Peyton Hillis and McFadden? Well, Peyton Hillis runs into the Sports Illustrated curse. Everybody does. And the EA Sports one, and the Magnus Swift, and all of them. And McFadden, I don't know. But I'm not worried. McFadden will probably be back this week. Yeah, from what I heard, yeah, it's been tough for those guys to get on the field. I think McFadden is actually officially out for uh, this Thursday night's game. But uh, you got Ray Rice and you got other flex options, so you might be able to uh, offset that. That's right. And I have played basically, I don't think anybody on buys this week, so I'm pretty good. That's true. All right, now another, another interesting uh, uh, situation that's been developing over the last couple of years. What is it with you having the six shooters number? You're six zero and one versus the six shooters in the last seven matchups. No other GM has had that uh, that kind of winning streak against the vaunted six shooters, especially this season. Well, I don't know. I mean, I think everybody had somebody's number. It looks like I have their number. Yeah, you were able to uh, tie them the last time you played them. So. Uh, you're definitely uh, in a position for a playoff spot at 4-4-1. Four, four, you're a, a game behind Flip and a game and a half behind Sal, but you're right in there in the mix for a playoff spot. You're undefeated in your last three, 2-0-1. Right, my team knows when to show up when they have to. That's true. All right, uh, it's defending champion, Psychos. little uh, true or false uh, uh, segment of the Trash Mouth podcast show. What do you think of the uh, Bengali Bombers? Paper Tiger, true or false? Uh, I'd probably say false. He's got a good roster. Okay, that's an honest opinion. All right, End Zone Freaks wins the West Division. True or false? True. Wow, okay. Uh, does Matt G-Man end his winless streak before the season is over, he's oh, I think he's oh five and one. Well, everybody has to have their day. I would assume he would do that. All right. Do you do you uh, prevent Comac Crush from making the playoffs? Oh, absolutely. That that's a given. That's a given. That's another team I own over the years. Okay. Well, he has beaten you three out of the last four, so it's been a little bit evened out. All right. Six shooters. Do you come back and win the East Division? Oh, absolutely. Wow. That's what that's what you got to like about Psychos. He's been a little bit hurt with injuries and a little inconsistency. Now, there is another question that sometimes uh, some GMs have been knocking me on the podcast. Some people have said, what's going on with Chet? Sometimes he's not putting his lineup in correctly. What's going on with this? Well, I've been putting it in. I've just basically said in the last few weeks I have been working on Sundays. And it's been like a 6 o'clock in the morning start of work, so it's like kind of hard to get everything done. Okay, all right, that's fair. You, you know, sometimes you have other obligations. But uh, I think you'll definitely be putting in the uh, the full lineup. And, hey, you were down three players last week, and somehow you miraculously got the victory against Bengali Bombers with three players out. Well, like I said, playmakers make plays. All right, Psychos, so far this season... It's been uh, ten games, nine games into the season. We got four games left. What does the Psychos have to do 
to get into the playoffs. What are, what are you looking for, for from Pacific players on your team? Who has to step up for the Psychos going forward? Oh, there's only one person to step up on my team. That's it. One person and one person only. That's Josh Freeman. Josh Freeman, yes, you are correct. He's been a little bit of a disappointment this year. But, hey, nobody can expect uh, uh, a down season from some of your draft picks. But that happens in fantasy football. And uh, you're definitely right there in the mix. You're 4-4-1. Four, four, you're tied with Matt at number two in total points, despite the injuries, despite the inconsistency in the roster submissions. But you're right there. Drew Brees is solid. Julio Jones is picking it up. You're getting something out of Ponder, Shianko, the Eagles D. So you're getting it from all aspects of your team. You're finding a way to win. You basically got my MVP. Oh, I'm sorry. Drew Brees. No, he's not the MVP. It's the guy called the Matrix. Oh, that's right. Megatron. The other guy who leads the league in touchdowns. All right. All right, Psychos, uh, I want to thank you for taking time out to join the Trash Mouth Fantasy Football Podcast, and uh, good luck this week against Matt's G-Men. Thank you very much. If you don't mind, I'd like to make a public service announcement for a moment. Sure, go right ahead. Uh, next Saturday is my guest bartending gig at Tenali Grill, which most of you guys know. Starts at 9 o'clock, ends whenever. Uh, we're doing it in memory of cancer people. Cancer research, so if you do shop, what we'd like is make a nice donation at the door. And any tips that I make, I am throwing it all back to the Cancer Society, so it'll be a nice turnout. We'd like everybody to show up for that. It would be nice. And then the following day, of course, I'm hosting at the Grill, which I never lose at, so whoever I'm playing this week, you might as well give them a loss already. So other than that, thank you very much for your time. All right, Psychos, thank you very much. And as you heard, charitable event. It's always give, good to give back to society. And uh, Chet will definitely be doing that as a guest bartender at the Tin Alley Grill in Garden City, Week 11. All right, thank you very much. And thank you for joining the Trash Mouth Fantasy Football Podcast. Take it easy, boys. Bye.